Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's video, we'll be talking about what sunnahs are and what they mean to us and why we should follow sunnahs and who the Prophet means to us. So I would like to start off with a brief example just for us to understand. We are creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We human beings are complex creations of the creator of the universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and we're the best of beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fashioned us in a very beautiful manner. So just as a manufacturer comes up with a, with a creation, a product, so there comes with it a, a user manual. You know, whether it be something very simple like a watch, it comes with a user manual so that the customer can understand how this product is to be used. How should it function? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us human beings and from time to time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers and prophets and scriptures to guide humans to the right path, to, to tell them how the, these complex creatures should work, what is the purpose for their creation, where they're headed, how they should spend their life and uh, to guide them so, so that it can be successful in this life and the hereafter. We being the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are the final nation, the last nation to come on the face of this earth. And we are the nation of the final messenger of Allah, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best of all beings. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent him to us as a guide. He sent him to us as a role model, as the best of examples. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, Surah Al-Ahzab, Ayah 21 لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَةٌ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says There has certainly been for you in the Messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone who hopes, whose hope is in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah often. For us believers, who believe in Allah, who hope to meet Allah on the Day of Judgment, who look forward to it, for us is the best example in Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah sent him as our guide. In uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have said in a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in Sahih Bukhari. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Kullu ummati yadkhuluna al-jannata illa man aba. Qila, wa man yaba ya Rasulullah? قال من أطاعني دخل الجنة ومن عصاني فقد أبى أو كما قال عليه السلام The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said All my followers will enter paradise except those who refuse They, the Sahaba رضي الله عنهم asked O Allah's Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم Who would refuse? He said whoever obeys me whoever obeys me will enter paradise and whoever disobeys me is the one who refuses to enter paradise. SubhanAllah. From this we see that following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, is wanting, is the path to paradise, is wanting to enter paradise. And disobeying Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or, you know, or, or following any other way other than the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is refusing to enter paradise subhanallah this is what we understand from this hadith in another ayah surah al imran ayah 31 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum wallahu ghafurur rahim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says o messenger say to the, say, say to the people say to your ummah in kuntum tuhibbun Allah, say if you love Allah, if you love Allah, our creator, our sustainer, our cherisher, the one who gives us to eat, to drink, to uh, to cover our ourselves, clothes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you love Allah, so what is the manifestation of the love? Then follow me. Then follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah will love you and forgive you your faults and Allah is forgiving and merciful SubhanAllah In this ayah we see 
that if we love Allah, you know, we love Allah, what is the manifestation of the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is following His Rasul, following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we are showing our love for Allah. We are showing our love for Allah. If we follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his sunnas, the ways he spent his life, the way he he spent his 24 hours, if we follow the sunnas of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in this ayah Allah is saying we will get two rewards. The first one is we will get the guarantee of Allah's love. Who can say Allah loves me? I can say I love Allah, but how can I say I guarantee that Allah loves me. But if I am following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu wasallam, then I know that for sure, inshallah, Allah loves me. And the second thing is Allah will forgive our sins. Allah will forgive all of our sins. SubhanAllah. What a great blessing. SubhanAllah. And the last hadith before I close off uh, today's session is the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The hadith is reported in Tabrani and Bayhaqi. Where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man ahya sunnati faqad ahabbani, wa man ahabbani kana ma'i fil jannah. Subhanallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, Whoever revives my sunnah, man ahya sunnati faqad ahabbani. He has, he has loved me. He has loved me. Wa man ahabbani kana ma'i fil jannah. Whoever loves me will be with me in jannah. SubhanAllah. Which one of us does not want uh, the company and the neighbor of Rasulullah sallallahu in Jannah, the highest ranks of Jannah? SubhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to practice upon the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu in each and every step in our lives and allow us to emulate him as, as much as we can. And then it allow us all to be from amongst those who are who are with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in Jannah, in his name, inshaAllah. Jazakumullahu khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.